In this video, I'm going to work out the missing side and angle. So we've got a missing side in this triangle and a missing angle for this triangle here. Okay. Now, just to be clear, these two triangles have not been drawn accurately. Okay. Okay. So for number one, then, for number one, we have the missing side and its opposite angle. And we've also got the information of a side and its opposite angle. So that should allow us to use the sine rule. So with the side A is what I want. So A over the opposite angle, sine of 33, must be equal to 32 over sine of 108. Okay, like so. So then I can multiply it by the sine of 33. So A will be equal to 32 sine of 33 degrees over sine of 108 degrees. Okay. So make sure your calculator is in degrees mode. There should be a D on the top row. So we have 32 times sine of 33 divided by sine of 108, and we should get 18.325355588. So that would be 18.3 uh, metres to three significant figures. Okay. Right. So, number two. In this problem, uh, we need to find the angle B. Now we've got the angle B and its opposite side, 113 centimetres, and we've also got an opposite side with its angle. So we should be able to use the sine rule again. So this time sine of B, so sine of the angle, must be equal, sorry, over 113, getting ahead of myself, is going to be equal to sine of 29, degrees over 72. Okay, so sine of the angle B must be equal to 113 sine of 29 degrees over 72. So let's put that into our calculator. 113 times sine of 29 divided by 72 and we get naught point seven six zero eight eight one seven six five one now I need to use the inverse sign so um, otherwise referred to as arc sign of 0 0.76 etc so the inverse sign of that will be equal to 49 point five four one nine nine four one three degrees now let's take a look at the diagram is b an acute angle well the way that it's been drawn here clearly it's not clearly b is an obtuse angle and there's nothing wrong with how this has been drawn it's just that actually there are two ways that you can draw this same shape, okay, um, but with a different angle B. Sometimes the sine rule can lead to uh, an alternative uh, solution. So there can be two ways of solving the problem. Now you might be wondering, well, how can I draw this triangle in another way? How could it be this angle of 49.54 degrees? Well, I do go through this in a bit more detail in the next video, but essentially, Let's get rid of this uppermost triangle. Give ourselves a bit of space. Essentially, if I continue this line on, okay, now I'm going to try and draw this fairly accurately. So that's uh, so I've got that as 20, what's that, 28, oh, sorry, 27 centimetres. So it's about 
there. So it's essentially what I've done is I've aimed to maintain that same length. So in my diagram, I said that that was 72 centimetres. That length and that length is now the same. So they're both 72 centimetres. They retain the same information because the, the original information was I've got this angle, this side, so they've stayed the same. That length has stayed the same. What's changed is the angle. So it actually gives you two possible angles. So is it this B, which is clearly an obtuse angle, or is it this B, which is an acute angle? We've just worked out the acute angle. OK. Now, how can, then we, how can we then work out what the other angle is? Well, um, you can consider this using the sine curve. So if you've seen the curve of y equals sine x, which looks like this, and we've looked at sine of b being equal to 0.76. So the sine curve goes up to 1. So 0.76 is there. This is the first solution we found, which is the 49.5. But that horizontal line crosses the curve there also. So if that distance is 49.5, then that distance has to be 49.5 by um, the symmetry of the curve. This point is 180 degrees. So it's actually 49.5 degrees down from 180. So if I take 49.5 away from 180, we get 130.4580059 degrees. So B equals 49.5 degrees or 130 degrees to three significant figures. OK. Um, so the problem did not identify which one was required. And with this triangle, there are actually two solutions. I'm going to go through another example of this in the next video.